Please welcome onto the tee from Scotland, Ewan Ferguson. That's an aggressive play from Ferguson there on the first. This is what the players are after. This is Ferguson down the right hand side of one. Big drive, just a pitch. Super shot. There's uh, Ewan Ferguson at his opening hole. Slightly different angle to Syme. It's a dribbler. Come on, come on. Never missing that, never missing. How good do they feel, Jamie? You know, you've, you've made a three like that at a, a tough opening hole. Get a good feel for the distance. Such a nice, nice fluid a motion, isn't it, from Ferguson, James? That will be uh, an eagle putt coming up for Georgia Hall. Pretty good shot from Ferguson. Himself a six-footer down the hill for his bird on two. Shouldn't jump too much out of this line. Breeze is freshened just a tiny bit. Yeah, that's a great shot there from Ferguson. Also with the rough in Ireland, yeah, the guys are fantastic. And, and being a disability golfer, here's you and another member of the stable. But um, disability golfer, they never treated me any differently to, to the guys, which that was a big plus for me. They got the same deals, treated me the exact same way. And I think that's a credit to them. Back to Ferguson. If you were hitting this shot, would you get the person to mark that ball in front? <laughs> That's a good question. Would you? Oh, there could be a divot hitting it now in a second if it comes out low. When no. it absolutely drops, a much easier shot. He could have picked which ones he, he wanted marked, really, couldn't he? I think he'll have to get it to mar mark it now, Brendan. It's right in his line. Yeah. <laughs> We talked about Leona Maguire and the expectations she's got. You kind of, I assume you must feel the same sort of thing. Yeah, like every time I go out, I, I don't expect to win, but I want to be up there and be in final groups, give myself a chance to do it. And, and last year I won three times out of three, but it just shows the caliper of disability golfers are coming into it now. Drive from you and Ferguson at six. Just want to flat it in on the wind, a little left of the pin. Winder is kind of over his left shoulder. Out of the southwest today. Yeah, great shot. A little bit of breeze down out of his right. Tight back right flag, though. Don't want to get too greedy on it. Does like to work it left to right. Oh, beautiful. In you go. Terrific birdie for Ferguson. Three birdies, no bogeys for him. Three under par for the card. Excellent stuff. Yeah, just a fiddly little wonker shot here for Ferguson. Needs to be delicate with it. And he is. Beautifully played. Oh, there we go. That's a very nice bonus eagle three. Played that so well, mm. Ferguson. Fast shot here from Ferguson, down the breeze. Lush lie, though, from 195. And a pretty good shot from that lie, out of the rough for Ferguson. He's on the 11th green. Outside chance for a three. So take the lead on his own. I was asking a bit too much, but a good part. Found the rough off the tee. Another fully committed swing from Ferguson. And an excellent shot. 
Managing to get some stop on it. Just on that, on that signage and just try to bleed it off that. Just trust your swing. Yeah, it's a tee shot you need to have full confidence on what you're doing. Perfect spot there for Ferguson. Bounce back after a first bogey of the day. Yeah, just one thirty-three flag for Ferguson. A little wedge. Yeah, just over twenty-five feet here for Ewan Ferguson. There's a little bit more on this than it looks. Does want to swing quite a bit across the hole left to right at the end. These greens are so pure, and this is a good chance for the lead on his own at minus six. Pick it out of the hole. Six under par leads the way in the men's side of things at this ISPS Handel World Invitational and it's Ewan Ferguson who has got that. Fandom. Another good looking swing from Ferguson. Long is no good here. Oh, he's not gone long, he's gone straight at it. Super shot from Ferguson. Jamie thought all those uh, young females were down there to see him, didn't you Jamie? A little right to left, though. we've seen this before. And Ewan Ferguson pays attention, extends his lead. He's to seven under par now. Setting the marker, Ewan Ferguson. Gotta have plenty of adrenaline as well at seven under. Oh. Come down. Down. No, it's okay. Just on the bank of the bunker, in the rough, no problem. Yeah, Ferguson got a nice break here, staying out of the bunker. Just one three eight, so just just a little punchy wedge in here. Try to control the flight out. I think that's it, about what, 30, 35 feet away. Putting back through the meat of the green for our leader. It's a long range birdie try, big swing from the left, kind of slow, a little slower than normal up, up the hill. He's had the speed great all day. Certainly given uh, lots of them looks, it was just... Ferguson. Bit of break on this one, left to right. Pretty quick as well down the hill. Looking good, it's tracking. Well, we just needed hitting. Sensible putt though, no point. Giving it a rip, Ferguson with the driver. That looks gone barrel straight, doesn't it? Look better than that, I have to say. It should be okay. He's got to aim right, simple as that. Which he is. Aim at that big bunker. Twiddle of the club. Twiddle twirl. Might, might have expected that to just come out a little bit more hot after the bounce. Most of the pros like to pitch it on the green so they get a bit of grab, they can trust the bounce. See what he does. No, he's gone just a bit short of that. What about Yay! holding it? Well, that'll break the course record. 61. Same score he shot a couple of weeks ago at Fairmont St Andrews. He can go low, Ewan Ferguson, and he's the one they'll be chasing on day two at this ISPS Hand at World Invitational. Ewan, congratulations. Another course record for you. Nine under. It was pretty flawless stuff and two eagles on the scorecard. How are you feeling? Yeah, I feel great. I actually was messaging Jamie yesterday about a few things I wasn't doing so well yesterday in the Pro-Am. And uh, I played the Pro-Am with, with Niall and 
me and Robbie Keane yesterday and I had it in a lot of bunkers and they were, they were just saying, you love the bunkers, but see tomorrow, just try and stay out of them. And today I uh, just managed to avoid them all, which was quite good. We're not all a couple and um, obviously I 61, so four records, quite nice. What was it in the swing that really felt like it clicked? Um, I wasn't really getting into my left side very well, so I was kind of hanging back and hitting a few shots a little bit left. Um, and then I was just kind of exaggerating on the warm-up before I went out, just trying to really get into my left side and hit some hit some kind of exaggerated fades. And then when I got in the course, kind of matched up quite straight and, yeah, it worked quite well. They always say it's difficult to follow up with a low round the, the following day. Yeah. For you, does that make you feel more excited to see what you can do and try and ride that confidence momentum, or do you feel more nervous because it's a difficult thing to do? Um, it is hard to do because I done it. I had that kind of situation a couple of weeks ago in St Andrews when I shot 11 under, and the next day it did feel quite difficult because I kept thinking, oh, geez, I was 700 at this point yesterday, now I'm only one or level or something. So it is hard, but at the end of the day, you're just your golf ball doesn't know what score you're on, so just uh, keep that in mind and, and try and and try and just keep doing what I'm doing. I'm having fun, so. Well, you're part of the management team who have a huge input in this tournament in itself, and like you touched on earlier, you play with Noel and uh, Keane yesterday. Uh, pretty much the centre of attention, especially kicking it off with round one. Mm. Um, how do you enjoy dealing with all of that? I like I like dealing with all that, <laughs> but no, I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable with um, my management team and, and Niall and all that now. So I feel like it's a kind of more of a friendship rather than. I don't feel like flustered by it like I might have done a few years ago um, by it all, but now it's just kind of natural, quite friendly with them. Niall texted me this morning saying, great play me yesterday, go and, go and do it today, and it's just kind of part of it. So, no, I don't feel, I feel pretty good about it all, and just, like I said, it, what, like the weather today was so good, so I was just really looking forward to going out and trying to actually see what I could shoot, because I've not played in this good a weather for a while. Yeah, cracking stuff, as the local would say. Yeah. That's grand. Yeah, it's well grand, done. exactly. Cheers. Thanks, Ian. Thanks, Nancy. Bye-bye. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.